Everybody on Twitter is tagging me in a couple of things. It's the fucking self-lacing air mags. I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, I do not give a shit. Self-lacing shoes are stupid. There's no point in them. There's no like real benefit. It's a gimmick, you know? Like last night when I posted it, some people were trying to say like, it's for handicapped people and da 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 da. First off, they're running shoes. So that doesn't really make a ton of sense. Um, if you can put on a shoe and tie it to run, I don't think that you, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm not trying to be insensitive, but you know, that, that seems like a marketing gimmick to me. Yeah, as far as that goes, that seems pretty stupid. The whole Air Mag thing, it's just, it's nostalgia. You know, like, like yeah, I saw Back to the Future also. I was a kid also. I wanted a hoverboard also. But now, I don't care. You know, like, you can't just dangle something in front of me for 20 fucking years and expect me to still think it's cool. It's not cool. A pair of Air Mags, which I've seen in person, it wasn't that impressive. Laces that are self-lacing for handicapped people as the as the marketing, I think that's kind of lame, honestly. I've never seen any ad like that. You know, the first ad I ever saw was like last year and they were doing like a, um, you know, it was like a runner. It was like a runner and like a basketball shoe or something. So, yeah, I think it's stupid. I think it's a gimmick. I don't, is it, is when you put on the fucking self-lacing shoe, does it make it any more comfortable? Or you just have a self-lacing shoe? What happens when I forget to charge my shoes that night? Can I just not get to where I got floppy shoes on the way to work? You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, it's just like, why? You know? I don't know. Y'all can have it, man. Like some future shit. I don't know. That's just weird. If that's all Nike's got waiting in the wings uh, as far as um, research and development goes. The uh, sneaker story that, as we know it, is going to change forever. I've had self-lacing shoes since I was a kid. I tie my shoes once and I slip them on and off. So, like, yeah, life hack. Jesus. I just said the other day I wasn't that I don't like selling shoes, but uh, I sold off a couple of pairs of the French Grays. I also sold these, so we have to find the fucking box. Ugh. Oh, what? First fucking box. That was sick. <laughs> that was awesome. First box that I picked and it was the right one. That was fucking dope. That wasn't planned. I know that probably seems like it was. Here's the French grays, both dead stock. Going out. Kids want them and I don't need them. So I just figured basically two of these is one for real. So, but uh, yeah. So those are all going out today. Get some Boost God stickers for this. I gotta stop saying that I don't like doing stuff because then it just happened. I sold three pairs of NMDs. Those are going out today. I'm doing that. Grocery shop. Whole Foods today. Whole Foods is expensive. But you know what's more expensive? Cancer. I just spend the money on food. When I was younger, I ate like shit. And uh, yeah, so now I have to eat good. That's how we do. The Hill Whole Foods unboxing. Oh. No, what the fuck? Ugh. Steaks. Food for the week. Ever since Doobie's little accident, been feeding him these, and he really, really likes these. They're a CBD edible for dogs, and I don't know for sure if uh, like he had a seizure or what happened or anything, but I can tell you when I feed him this, he's a happier dog. Super happy and just more playful. And it's cool. So, yeah, you should try these out for your dogs. Well, now I gotta take all this shit to the post office. So, that'll be fun. I just got home from the post office, and now I'm about to make myself a steak. Yeah. Always, always, always get prime strips. The New York strip 
jump off whole foods don't fucking play games get the prime shit stop playing yourself Woo, girl personally because i make so many steaks because i make one every almost every day what i do is i roast the steak first we're gonna let this sit out for like half an hour before we start to cook it so i'm just gonna put it in the oven 200 degrees for 20 minutes but I set a 10 minute timer because in 10 minutes, I'm gonna wanna start warming up my pan. First 10 minutes is up. My stove kinda sucks. Doesn't wanna turn on ever. Somebody wants to mail me a new stove, that'd be fucking sick. 10 more minutes. Uh, everyone's always asking me too, like what my favorite pair of Ultra Boosts are. These, by far. Like style wise, the Woodwood collab is my absolute favorite. They're so sick. Now that it's been 20 minutes, flat out, this bad bitch, just hit it off. Two and a half minutes per side. Second side, two and a half minutes. Make sure you sear up them sides, boy. One of the most important things about the steak is you have to let it rest. Let it sit here for at least 10 minutes. You know? Yeah. Gooby's ready. Lag is hot, we out here. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. And yeah. Today has been, uh, it's my day off, so I've just been running around doing stuff. Uh, no shoes today. Uh, as far as this week coming up though, we've got uh, black Pharrell's coming, green Pharrell's coming, red Pharrell's coming, and then the Glitch XR1 NMD coming. So four shoes this week for me, so that'll be cool. We're gonna take a look at all that stuff. Next Yeezy is gonna be the 750, and it's rumored to be coming out on October 15th. So that's like the chocolate brown 750. I'm not a huge fan of 750s. I don't have any. I may grab this pair just to take a look and try because it's about to be winter. Maybe, we'll see. I don't know, I haven't decided. But the real, real big news is the Triple Black 1.0 Ultra Boost is dropping on Adidas. And that's fucking crazy because everything I had heard was it was canceled, wasn't happening, but now it's happening. That's um, October the 13th, Triple Black Ultra Boost with the 1.0 pattern. That's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be really hard to get, and I hear it's really, really fucking limited. So, good luck on that. Talk everybody about the Boost Your Bro contest real quick. It's still going on. You can still send your submissions. As far as submissions go, I just need a photo and uh, a description as to why your homie or your bro or your girlfriend or whoever deserves a pair of boosts. I'm doing my best to read through everything and then we'll start to get them kind of narrowed down. The responses have been like just so overwhelming and I, <laughs> You know, honestly, for a couple of days, I started to feel bad because I couldn't, I just like couldn't deal with, you know, it just made me feel some kind of way about, <clears throat> you know, the less fortunate. You know, a lot of you guys have been sending me some like pretty intense stories. I reached out to Adidas and I'm going to try and see if we can't make something happen even bigger than my own uh, scale. So yeah, let's we'll see what I can do. I'm doing my best here. I'm just, I'm just going through all the emails. So if you know anybody that needs boost or just really want, needs to try them out for the first time, or they're just rocking the worst shoes ever, uh, hit me up. Just email me at boostyourbro at gmail.com and just send your entries and we'll start narrowing it down soon. You know, other than that, the Air Mag is coming. Everybody's excited about the Air Mag. I'm not. I think it's stupid. I would never wear that shoe. You know, like maybe I'll go after it just to sell it to somebody because that would be funny. But, uh, yeah, it's silly. The Air Mag. There's a little clarification on the Nike Air Mag. So, Michael J. Fox tweeted, or Nike tweeted, somebody tweeted, I don't know, one of those fucking dudes tweeted, and they said they couldn't wait for, for tomorrow, today, which is tomorrow. Um, and yeah, so now everybody thinks the Air Mag is going to drop out, just like, they think like, I don't know where, general release on the Air Mag tomorrow, which these dudes couldn't even get OVOs the other day. So I don't know how the fuck they think they're going to get a fucking air mag. I don't know why you'd want to get an OVO in the first place. I don't understand a Drake shoe. Pharrell's is even a stretch a little bit to me, but at least it's like a different shoe. But an OVO? I can't, I can't get down with it. 
you know, everyone is excited. So Nike's getting its little attention for its gimmick again. You know, I mean, I don't know how long they can drag out this one fucking shoe. Literally, they're retroing a shoe they've never even put out now. That's how far gone it is. So, cool. Keep dangling this fucking self-lacing carrot in front of them. That, that's the last thing you guys got. I guess they could retro your bread ones again with the self-lacing now, and then you could just buy them all over again. That's coming, supposedly. Maybe not. Who knows? There's, you know, that's the thing. There's no real news. It's just Nike just tweeted a video of it again.